we're a couple weeks into chapter 4 now, and I have the new best controller settings for every type of player, whether you're on console or on PC. And let's waste no more time before we hop into them. So first of all, edit hold time doesn't matter as long as you have a single edit bind, which everyone should. Slide hold time usually keep it right around 0.1. I've never had an issue with that. The two camera settings I keep at pitch and 0.1. And if you want to have that chapter 4 aim by aim, you gotta turn vibrations off. Then down to sensitivity, I actually moved this up a little bit, mainly just because I'm on my PS5 right now. So right now it's a 2.1 multiplier on both build and edit. But my look sense, my look sense never changes. It's 43% on horizontal and vertical with a 2% turning boost on horizontal and vertical. Zero second turning boost ramp time, instant boost from building is off. To me, this will always be the best look sense. I kind of see me change this anytime soon because the non-ADS aim and the movement is just perfect on it. I can't say the same for the ABS sense though. Real quick before I get to the though, I'm nearly at 100,000 subscribers and I'm racing to get there before the end of this year. So if you could help me out there, if this can be the video that gets me there, I'd be so appreciative. Now let's move on to the ADS sense where I have changed it up slightly. So this is a 9% on both horizontal and vertical ADS with a 1% turning boost on both horizontal and vertical and no turning boost ramp time. I've actually made my ADS sense just slightly faster for a very specific reason. A few pro controller players have mentioned that this chapter on console specifically, the controller sensitivity feels slower. But I don't think that's actually true. I think the reason that it feels slow is because all the movement in the game now is so fast. I think the most obvious thing is there's hammers now and literally every single player carries one every single game. So you're constantly having to shoot players out of the air whether they're pushing you or they're running away from you. Then there's still the launch pads around as well as dirt bikes. There's tactile spring, there's ice everywhere, there's perks like the soaring jump. Basically a whole lot of really fast movement and that's why I decided to move my ADS sense up slightly. As for dead zones, dead zones basically should never change unless you switch your controller. And on most controllers for me 10% works well so that's what I'm using on my custom PS5 controller. Now I actually haven't even played console yet this chapter so let's get some PS5 games in on these settings so I can show you that these settings are actually really good. All right, a couple off spawn kills, not too bad. This guy good though. Nice. Not gonna lie, some of these are bots, but I don't care. PS5 is hard to play on. Especially the audio. The audio is just terrible. But getting back to these settings, if I were to highlight any specific part of these, I feel like I'm always going to highlight the look sense. And it just makes even more sense to specifically highlight the look sense this chapter, because at least in build modes, which is the main mode that I play, I'm almost never actually carrying an AR. So honestly, I don't even use my ADS sense that much, meaning basically all my fights are close range. In most close range fights, most of your shots are not ADS, whether you're in a box or taking pop shots. And all of that non-ADS aim is based off your look sense, so it's kind of hard to have that not be the highlighted part of the sense. Dang it, dude. I hate taking damage. Damage when it's unnecessary like that was. Like that, I should not take damage right there. And I'll just say right now, whether or not you copy this exact sense, I don't really care. What I will say though is it's gonna be very hard to be a good player this chapter on a slow sense. No, oh wow. Wow. Like right there, that look sense is just so good. To be able to hit that shot is so clutch. And that's exactly why a slow sense this chapter is just not gonna work. You gotta worry about too many of those types of players. So I guess it's gonna be more important specifically if you're a builds player. No builds, you can kind of still get away with being on a little slower of a sense. But either way, this specific sensitivity is gonna work well for you. <laughs> that ADS is crazy. See, it's not like my ADS is fast now. My ADS is still like really normal and honestly still even on the slow side. But compared to the settings I've been showing off like last chapter, it is a bit faster. Okay, first of all, I need to get rid of this guy. Wait, why did I go backwards? Let's go! That actually worked out in my favor. Dude, PS5 is kind of fun. 12 Elim. That was a really solid game. You're really focusing on the ADS settings. Why not try his no builds game as well? Not only is a slow sense bad this chapter, but you also don't want to go too crazy on your ADS sense either. Because especially with this chapter's AR selection, medium to long range AR aim is now like the 
hardest thing. So if you want literally any chance to hitting these shots this chapter, I honestly say that you really shouldn't go above a 15% on your ADSM. I personally would never even go above like 12%. Just because you have to have your ADS sense literally so controlled. No way. That was scary. Now, if you watch my videos before, you might think it's kind of hypocritical. I basically always say that you should never change your settings. However, the one contingency that I always lay out is that the only reason you should ever change your settings is if something in the game itself actually changes. And because of that, you feel like your settings are starting to hold you back. So what that sequence was for me is the hammer was added to the game. And with my previous 7% ADS sense, I feel like I wasn't fast enough to be able to catch up with people gliding through the air with a hammer. So I felt like that sensitivity was holding me back and I turned it up a little bit. And that's always what change your settings should look like. You should never make like a major drastic change your settings. Every change you make should be super subtle. Aww. No way, a cold shotgun is what did me in. For one last game, I'm gonna try these exact settings on PC, which is my main platform. And speaking of making subtle settings changes, I keep saying that I change my settings like I did something crazy with it. In reality, I literally moved my build and edit both up 0.1, I moved my horizontal ADS up 2%. Like in reality, I really didn't change that much, but I will say it's enough to feel some sort of a difference. And right now on PC, I got two early kills, so that's pretty solid. Let's go. I definitely feel like the sense is working just as well on PC. Let's go. Oh, is there a fire audio glitch in the game? Chapter 4 is actually so glitchy. Wow. What is that? What? What is that? Yep, and just like that, I'm not playing Fortnite for another few weeks. <laughs> Why do they add this stuff to the game? I was 200 HP and that insta-killed me. I mean, I guess that was a good game nonetheless. Showed off the settings. We got a lot of good games in this video. Make sure to subscribe. You can try these settings if you want. And as always, I hope to catch you in a future video. Thanks for watching.